Hi everyone, this is Manish and today I'm going to discuss about the SCCM tips and tricks on how to use CM Trace to troubleshoot the SCCM log files efficiently. If we properly know and use the CM Trace, we can efficiently troubleshoot any kind of issues related to the SCCM. Let's begin. Okay, so these are the topics which I'm going to cover. Uh, uh, first of all, if we are going to use the CM Trace rather than Notepad, it will be coming up with a lot of benefits which we are going to discuss. And I'm going to also discuss about the combining multiple log files together, searching for specific keyword for uh, to look for success and failure, uh, using the filter feature, using the highlight feature in CM Trace, lookup feature for specific error code, and a few of the troubleshooting uh, tips for the operating system deployment logs. Let's start. Okay, so let's see, I have on one of the Windows 10 devices and the location of the log files for the SCM logs is C Windows CCM logs. Uh, first of all, let's see that how the log files will look uh, when we open in CM trace as compared to while looking into the notepad. So I'm opening the log file, policyagent.log. You can open any log file. Uh, now I'm opening policyagent again using the notepad. So now when you look for the log file over here in CM trace, you can see it's uh, properly organized in a proper in a symmetrical form and it's quite easy to read. While I'm, while I'm checking into the notepad, it doesn't look so nice. Uh, when I'm trying to initiate the machine policy to see that how what happens in the log file, when I initiate, I can see the changes happening in the logs. You can see the changes are these are the live changes which I can see in the CM trace. While in Notepad, the updates are not happening, I have to close the log file and open it again. So that's the one benefit of using the CM trace. Uh, now let's come together to the, to the second point about combining the multiple log files together. Okay, let's uh, think about the scenario where uh, I have to troubleshoot the application package deployment. And for application deployment, I need to open multiple log files later to it, app enforce, uh, app discovery, uh, app intent eval. So I can combine multiple log files together. So once CM trace is open, click on file, open. And look for the log files what we want. For example, app discovery, I'm pressing the control, app enforce, app intent eval. And now, I'm clicking on merge selected files. Once I click on op uh, open, I can see all log files are combined together along with the component name. You can see app discovery component along with app intent eval, everything is combined together. So that if you are looking for a, a troubleshooting any application related issue, it will really going to help you as all uh, log files are combined all together. Uh, same way, now the third feature what I'm going to discuss about is the looking for a specific keyword for uh, success or failure. Okay, this is my favorite feature. For example, if I'm looking for any success or failure, so let me open the log file, smsts.log. This is a log file for the operating system deployment. So I'm looking for the specific uh, keyword and that is exit win32. When I press enter, I can see my log file, uh, my this step got success. If I press F3, it is showing me the next step, what it got success, the third one, the fourth one. So I can see, I can jump over to the exact uh, keyword what I'm looking for, which is really very much helpful. Uh, the next filter is using the uh, filter feature. It is quite similar to what I was looking for, the specific keyword, but now in a filter format. Let's see how it works. Go to tools, click on filter, and now I'm using, we're going to filter all the words where I can see the exit win32. Exit win32 is a actually specific word which help, help us analyze the step of the task sequence, whether it got success or failure. Not task sequence, it could be any application or package. Exit win32, click on OK. So I can see I have list of all the steps which is showing as code zero. Code zero means success. So this is one of the easiest way to verify that how many steps executed and what was the status. Let me clear the filter. 
Okay, so now the next feature is about the highlight. I can highlight a specific keyword what I'm looking for. Uh, highlight means it will be uh, done in a specific uh, color coding, which is really going to help us a lot. Um, I'm going to search for a keyword. Go to tools. Click on highlight. Uh, let me look for the distribution point. My distribution point is manband.com. Click on OK. If I scroll down, I can see the all the lines with manband.com has been highlighted with yellow color. Same way, I can change the color of the highlighted uh, lines. So let's go to the file, go to preference. So right, right down. Uh, as of now, the highlighting color is yellow. I'm going to change it to the, uh, let's say, green. Press OK. Now, the same color I can see in uh, green. So this is really helpful when I we are looking for specific keyword, which highlights in a different color. OK, now the one of the most important feature, which I always keep on using, is called the lookup feature. Lookup feature is means if you are looking for, if you get any error, success failure or anything if you wanted to translate press ctrl l and type the error code for example i am pressing the one the meaning of one is incorrect function so this is really going to help be very helpful analyzing that what exactly is the case for example i am looking for another error code that is 3010 let press enter the, the meaning of 3010 is success but it means it requires a reboot. So I can easily translate that what exactly is the meaning. Okay, now I'm going to uh, tell you a tip about how to troubleshoot my way of troubleshooting when I'm looking for the operating system deployment logs. So let's open the log file first. SMSTS. Okay, the very first thing is if I can see if there are multiple uh, SMSTS.log file, I would be selecting both log files together by pressing the control and clicking on merge and selected files. Once it is open, okay, I am already on the SMSTS.log file. Once it is open, the very first thing is I will go to the last step. Just think about it that uh, the there is an error in the log, for log file. The task sequence failed, so I will be going to the last step and now I am going to search for the error code in the uh, upward direction. For that, I have to press Ctrl F. My favorite switch is exit pin 32 and direction I have to click on, click on up. Click on find. So I can see my last step for the task sequence showing as install application successful. If I press F3 again, the the previous one was recent restart computer. Before that, setup windows and config MGR. Setup windows and config MGR. Apply network settings. So this way, it makes my life very much easy of for looking for a specific task sequence failure. And along with, if you are uh, looking into the smsts.log file when you are scrolling up, even if you just press page up, you can immediately come to the error if you see any kind of red red lines it will be able to tell you that what exactly is the error thank you so much this is all for today and i will be coming up with all more videos like this thank you